Good morning guys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about another slimy creature. Um, something that probably not a lot of people enjoy catching, but as competitive anglers we love them. <laughs> because you can develop a big hit to them very, very quickly. That, of course, is the eel tail barbel, affectionately known as an ETB, um, Platosis kunga. Now, they are not pretty fish. Uh, I mean, to each their own, but it's not a very attractive fish. they similar to barbel, but barbel and freshwater are a hell of a lot prettier. They've got the nice chocolate brown or white belly. Anyway, an eel tail barbel is more of a yellowy olive, type of upper, um, white belly, as the name says, they're not a fishtail barbel that's got the actual tail itself on the back, they've got a long extended more tad tadpole type of shape, so they've got quite a chunky body in the front and a long sinuousy kind of tail that extends out the back with fin all the way around. Now you get them more in rocky areas, things like that, and how they feed, they use the little barbels on the front, so eel tail barbel, barbel is the little extensions. They're very, very sensitive little extensions that they got on their, on their jaws and they can actually use that to feel movement and things like that. And it makes them very, very sensitive and aware of what's around their head. They don't have uh, teeth, they got crushing plates, very, very strong and they've also got ones in their throat. They absolutely love eating anything with a nice hard shell, mussels, crabs, things like that. They just crush them up beautifully. As we mentioned, similar areas to um, most of your rock cod species and things like that, they are very active nocturnally and then during the day they're more, uh, they like to sit in their caves and their darker areas where they like to sit and just sort of chill out. Targeting methods, you've seen Ray's eel tail barbel trace, if you haven't we'll put a link in the description at the bottom, you really have to go watch that. That's it's phenomenally effective and it just yeah, works 100% for them. Your bait wise, you can use pretty much anything for them, but chocker is really the way to go. Often at night your peckers get quite uh, ferocious and um, any other bait just gets pecked away in instances. So you really, seconds, you really want to use chocker, it's a nice hardy bait or even something like, um, if you watched our Shirley Avenue uh, video, I used the octopus leg there, it worked very well for them as well. So yeah, you don't need, you don't need wire for them. Circle looks work incredibly well, they've got a very, very soft mouth with a hard set where they crush, so that soft area just means the hook to set beautifully into that. Um, you get them all over the place, fishing for them at night's a lot of fun and uh, yeah, you, as competitive anglers you can really get a big hit to them because they're generally grouped together. So you can catch a few from the shoal very quickly. Small eyes on the head, they're really more by feel, uh, quite serpentine in, in shape but with a big chunkier body in the front. They get to around about 50 centimeters or so, normally, that's normally kind of the size you catch them at, between 30 odd and 60 odd centimeters, sort of where you're going to be catching them. But yeah, the ill tail barbel, Platosis and Kunga, lovely species. Cheers. <laughs> 